when you pick up a telephone or make contact either directly or indirectly by any means, you say, is this that I'm fixing to say, this contact that I'm going to make with anybody, white or non-white, is it going to produce a constructive result? Or is it going to be what it usually is when it comes to non-white people? Something that is tacky, trashy, or terroristic. Because these are the things that govern the conduct of the people on this planet 24 hours a day here in 2019 in every area of activity. Economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. It all comes under capital letters. The three T's. Tacky, doesn't get any better than tacky. Trashy, or terroristic. One of those is how the people of this planet, that's how we conduct ourselves every day. We are nowhere near having the quality relationships in capital letters, the quality relationship that people are supposed to have on the wonderful planet that we have been given. Okay. You don't have a single quality relationship. It's all tacky, trashy, or terroristic. One of those three T's. Look at us the way that we are right now. People have a tendency to keep doing the things they're used to doing. So look at black people right here in the northwestern hemisphere. If there were, were no white people on the planet, if we woke up tomorrow or, or sometime before noon today in the northwestern hemisphere in most places, we look around and all of a sudden white people have disappeared. I mean, and all the buildings and grocery stores and everything is still here. The highways are still here. The rivers are still here. Uh, everything is still here. There's still food on the shelves. There's still farm equipment sitting out there, but nobody's there. No white people are there. You find black people, brown people, yellow people, people who are classified as non-white. No white people. I'll say what I said before chaos like you wouldn't believe because when you take the most powerful factor out from among any people if, if the monitor uh, a stern monitor a cruel monitor, monitor or a kind one walks out of a classroom you know you have a classroom full of children which is what we all are the non-white people of the planet are children we're not grown we haven't had any experience in being what you call grown people. None. Zero. None of us. We've been prisoners of war before we were born. So when the monitors are gone, we look at each other and say, where is the teacher? The teacher walks out of the classroom. Where is our guide? Where are the people that knocks us over the head and makes us do what we do, have to do for them and presumably in helping them to support us and while we're supporting them according to their rules, which is tyranny, all right, the way that they go about doing it, the system of white supremacy. So the white supremacists alone, I'm not saying all white people are white supremacists, but if all white people go, then the white supremacists are gone. So that means non-white people are just left with what they know to do. Mm -hmm. And just look at what black people know to do when they are left alone among themselves. Anywhere on the planet, look at how we conduct ourselves. Yes, sir. Under the system of white supremacy, because we're really not left alone. We just think we are, mm -hmm. even in the places where they say, well, this is an all-black country. There's no such thing as an all-black country. Nowhere on the planet. Everything is being run by the white supremacists, either directly or indirectly. And so if the white supremacists disappear, we will be on automatic 
doing the things we usually do, only it'll be more of it. So if we're used to robbing and stealing and killing each other, you're going to see that wholesale. And when those grocery store, uh, when when the shelves become start becoming empty, because it'll be hallelujah time, I mean, for about 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Because black people will just be riding around. They will go into the, the uh, Oh, oh, just don't, don't even think about the car dealerships. They would empty out in no time. Mm. And black people driving up and down the highway wrecking cars like you wouldn't believe and then jump out of one and jump into another one. Jump into a sports car and go tearing down the highway. Total chaos, huh? Total chaos. Road warrior. Mm. That's what it will generate into. Mm. I mean, we know that. We might pretend that we don't know that, but we know that. We know how we are. We try to pretend that we're not that way. We're that way. Mm -hmm. We don't need to come off of it with all this black pride nonsense. Nothing to be proud of. Nothing. Prisoners of war is what we have always been since the beginning of white supremacy. And prisoners of war who feed off of each other, who have just talked like in the movie Shawshank Redemption, just walk around in the prison yard trying to scheme against each other. That's all we know. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue to do that wholesale. You'd better believe it. I don't know for how long, because at some point, maybe when we practically decimated each other down to maybe 15 or 20 people left, we, somebody might come to their senses and say, hey, we can't keep going on like this. We got to learn to cooperate. Yes, sir. We got to get along with each other. There ain't nobody left. 